disrupting boundary. No, there are people who have lost their mind because I said, you can't do that. There are people who lost their mind because you can't have your way up in this church. There are people that lost their mind because you are not supposed to be close. You are not supposed to be family. No, 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 no. There's no bloodline or no characteristics that state you're supposed to be in my boundaries. So boundaries are necessary because people want to take advantage of people who no longer move with boundaries. You can love everybody. You can like everybody. But just because you love and like somebody don't mean they're supposed to be in your personal space. You got some family members that you say, no, we got to set boundaries because you think I'm the watering hole. Hear me, somebody said, I'm telling the truth. And so Daniel minded his business, drunk his water. He worshiped El Shaddai. He worshiped the Lord Jesus Christ. Watch this. But yet still Daniel created boundaries. There were people who did not like the fact you think you better than us. People who have a problem with boundaries always have a reason. Everyone put the word up reason, reason, R-E-A-S-O-N, reason. Let me blow it in thy mind it and get on my flight so I can go and do what thus said the Lord tonight in Indiana. Watch this. Then the other two commissioners and the satrap began to find a reason, began I'm reading that. Listen, I'm reading Daniel. I'm reading Daniel. Daniel 4. Begin to find a reason to bring a complaint. There are people who are upset that you have boundaries looking for a reason to complain about you. It's a reason they don't like you. It's a reason they won't confront you, but they got something to say. There was a reason for this because people who have boundaries have created a space that is safe and they have a reason because they said, I am not allowed to be in your space. Someone said, this is good this morning. I got to go because they have no business in your boundaries. Why? Because they showed you they can't be trusted in your space. So they said, hold on. We need Felicia Harris says, teach, teach, teach. Oh, I ain't teach yet. Hold on. Wait till Sunday. I hope y'all be in service. I'm giving the word of God. He said, to find a reason to bring a complaint against Daniel concerning the ministry. Listen, concerning the ministration of the kingdom. But they could not find a reason for an accusation or evidence of corruption because he was faithful. He was a man of high moral character and personality and integrity. Watch this. When you are integrous, you will create boundaries to protect your integrity. When people got a problem that you're integrous, they will create a reason to come against you. They will create a reason to disrupt your character because you're protected by saying, I'm not doing that. I'm not going over there. No, I don't want to be associated with that. I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not about that life. Watch this. Find somebody else to do it. Watch this. And so you are a person of good character. You've got morality. You're not corrupt. You are, you can be trusted. You're faithful. And every characteristics of their instability wants to be in your boundaries. It wants to be beyond your boundaries. It wants to be in your space. Because make no mistake about it. When you are rocking with somebody with a good name, whether they throw dirt on yours, your name could be okay because character makes good. Listen, character makes good choices because it's very careful for how it speaks. If, if, if character says, I, I don't know, my discernment is something about, mm, I don't know. And so therefore you make good decisions, they make bad decisions, but yet still you keep them beyond the borders of your boundaries. And so therefore birds of a feather flock together. And so they assume you got good character because y'all connected. They assume that you know better because you're connected. See, people who don't like boundaries always trying to be bond with someone. They're trying to connect with someone. My bishop, Bishop Listen Page, always talks about the trauma bond. And so since they don't understand trauma, they create chaos so y'all can identify. So you got to be even careful how people come with you with secrets. Because they're trying to connect with you in an unhealthy mannerism because they want the trauma bond because somebody created a boundary they can't come through.